There are many me's inside of me. The non-politician also vintage me. The eccentric dream catcher me. It is me, 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 me. <laughs> the curious me, me. The I love sugar me, me. The artsy me, me. The color green is me, me. The alpha and omega is me. I can identify the you in me. I communicate with me. The I can plant a garden me. The I in me. The rose in me. The pain in me. The poetry in me. The I see you me. The supernatural me. The battlefield in me. The intellectual Einstein me. The all of this and more is me. All of you are me. I, 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 I know me. Raw, 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 meow, me. The River Niger is me. Emmett Till is me. Bigger Thomas is me. One nation under God is me. I pray for all of you and me. Thank you. I was very impressed. Um, I recently just watched a movie called Lust for Life that 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 uh, um, Kirk Douglas did on um, Van Gogh. I loved it. And this is what I wrote for the movie, for the performance. It's called Burnt Orange. He captures expressions of people working in woods, fields, and poetry hidden in everyday life. His canvas is an object of excitement, exploring tone, depth, and reflections of many colors. He is hungry for more, more ideas, more circumstances that don't come fast enough for him. His work fills every space of the room, the walls, on a desk, on the floor. Organization is not his forte, but his passion for paint and brushes and casts and completion is exhilarating. His hand is sure and never tires. He can't sleep because his mind races with specification. Lemon yellow, burnt orange, lime green, cherry blossom trees blowing in cool winds. A self-portrait with bandaged ear and pipe. Sunflowers in a vase so vibrant that they flood the room with light and expectation. His paintings are a world of motifs that are joyous and expressive. He suffered with psychiatric episodes and delusions and drank heavily. He was a tortured soul so ridiculously talented at his craft. One may paint to escape, but he could not escape from himself. He could not find passivity in the quiet hush. Savagely wanting a piece of sanity to, to soothe him, but for those screaming voices in his head just kept coming back. It was all too loud, too chaotic for one man to battle. So he let go of his drunkard self and cypress wheat leaves and placed the revolver there to end his loveless, lonely life, to hopefully meet his bride and saturate the heavens with lyrical poplar trees sitting at the cafe terrace, immortalized. Thank, Thank you. you.